I haven't been in a death for ages. Have you not? No. I've been in one lot because this is my car. So this is your first Defender? Yeah. So what happened is they announced they were going to stop making them and then they announced these end of times limited editions. Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. It was a January. January the 23rd? No. <laughs> is it? I don't know. Weirdly specific. If, if you're right, that would be weird. I think this weird. was the last day. January the 23rd, 20... Was it 2016? Uh, 2015. Maybe. So, what happened? They, they announced they were going to do it. Now, I had a bit of a tip-off from someone we know, who will remain nameless, who said there's these three special editions coming. There's a retro one that's particularly cool. And then... I managed to see pictures of it the day before it was officially announced, and I went, "Oh, yeah, the day it before. really is." Yeah, again for reasons I won't go into, but um, you know, someone in the industry. Yeah, because they sent the pics out to you know long lead magazines. I just went to grab a handle of it. No hand. the... Yeah, there's some in the back if you want to. Oh, that's convenient. Oh no, there's one on the dash right yeah. in front of me. Yeah, yeah. see. Okay. Um, Practical. And uh, so. I uh, I got home that night after they'd officially announced it and I showed a picture of it to my wife and she went, oh my god, that's the coolest car I've ever seen. And I went, hmm, I thought so too. And she went, well, how much is it? And I told her and she went, oh, right, I thought it'd be like twice that. And uh, then she said, can we get one? She and said, I went, we yeah. Go? And I went, yeah, why not? Okay, thinking, well, now, I was trying to work out how I could butter her up to order one. No need. She but was then she started asking questions. Well, yeah, then the butter started leaking off because uh, she said, so can you um, can you have it with an automatic gearbox? Because I prefer an auto in a bigger car. And I went, no. And then she went, right. Uh, so, I mean, has it got like lots of airbags and stuff? She went, and I said, no, it has no airbags. <laughs> and and she did went, her face start dropping? This isn't going to be our family car, is it? And I went, no. <laughs> and she went, but you're going to order one anyway. Did she, and I she went, thought this was yeah. going to be your only car? Yeah, she, yeah, the reason she was going, oh, let's get one, is because she imagined herself driving around in it because she thought it looked cool. And as it turns out, that was going to be the case. So, um, But by then it was too late. She'd sort of given me tacit permission to order one. So the next day I rang our local Land Rover dealer. See, Defenders. Yes. I... I blow really hot and really cold with defenders because... Much like the heater in this. Is it? What it's is either... It, it, it takes a while to warm up because it is a water blend heater rather than a modern air blend design. It's so old fashioned. It's a traditional yeah. part of the water jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, it's, it doesn't have a lot of control basically and it's you have to get the engine up to temperature. Also, interestingly, if you turn it on when the engine isn't fully warmed up, then the temp gauge doesn't keep rising because your heater is then sucking all the heat out of the engine. Um, and uh, if you put it anything beyond, anything about a sort of third of a turn, not much happens. So you go, I'll put it on a little bit more. I say, you know what, I'm really cold, I'll put it full on. So that, and then, that doesn't do anything? No. And then you go, I'll just put it on here to get some heat in the car. And then suddenly oh it sort God, of heats. Feel it. It, yeah, feel it. It, it hits the optimum the temperature. It's in the heart of the sun. I mean, <laughs> it is. It's blowing chunks of the sun through these vents. <laughs> so you look and it's not cooled down. It takes a while to stop stop with its nonsense. Oh yeah, it's still going hot. I mean, but I'll be honest. On a cold winter's day, it's cold to start with. It's one of those cars you sort of get in and go, right, I'm going to leave my coat on for yeah. a bit. Yeah. Well, like, then, like an R&B club. Like an R&B yeah. club, as we know. Yes. But then suddenly set vectors for the heart of the sun and it's sort of it's one of many ways in which this car feels like a country cottage because you have this sort of roaring fire in the center of the dash you'll notice there's no vents either side no there's nothing here oh hang this on, there's is something wrong on the edge oh yeah that don't because that fell off the first week I've, had it. <laughs> I've just noticed it's, it's yeah it's wonky it just fell off and it's almost like that's the traditional thing you buy a defender and then you have to guess which thing's going to fall off and then once it's got that out of its system, generally it's probably okay for a few weeks or months before the next thing falls off. And, and you know, touch body colour dashboard, fill it. Um, yeah, I do. Nothing else has as yet fallen off. The smell of 
the smell of really new rubber. Is I amazing. know, so this car is two and a bit years old and it still has that yeah, it does. odour defender yeah. about it, which I quite like, particularly because I don't, I don't use it all the time because I have another car. Um, How many miles have you done? I've done uh, six and a half thousand in okay. about two years. I don't, yeah, I don't use it all, all the time. And I was talking to someone who works at Jag Land Rover, who's also got a Defender. And I said, oh, I've got one of those, um, got one of those Heritage end of the line ones. And he went, oh, look at you, very nice. And I went, yeah, yeah, so it's just, uh, just about 5,000 miles in it at that point. And he went, what, you're actually using it? Is that what he said? Yeah. And <laughs> like it's it's an it's an ornament. Well, must, yeah, because the thing touched. like lots of people bought them and just squirreled them away. I yeah. mean, I've never seen one on the road, no. ever. No, I haven't. I see a lot of defenders. I've never seen one of these, no. and they've all been tucked away. And I think that's such a shame. Yeah. Because well, it's what, a speculative what is the point purchase, of having a car if you're not going to use it? It's just well, they suffer, as you know. Well, from lack of use. Yeah, I think they do. I mean, obviously, you know, being a old design Land Rover, this also sort of slightly suffers from use in as much as like the inside of the wheel arches, you know the, the wheel arch extensions are painted and they're painted on the outside and properly sort of lacquered over and then the inside I don't think they lacquer them, they can't be asked. and so as soon as you get it and you drive it any distance at all the, the paint just starts coming off and it really? looks like absolute it's not paint. Paint. No, it's just rubbish and it's fine, it's just one of those things you just have to naturally let the, the road stones slough away the paint from the inside of your own wheel arches. It still looks quite bad but I just put it out of my mind. It looks good man. Yeah, it's fine, the wheel arches have gone, uh, sorry the wheel hubs have, have gone, they've got a patina of rust on them and I noticed the actual wheels. One of the things on this model, as part of the retro look, it's got the, um, it's got steel, steel wheels, they're actually, um, oh, yeah. they're the wheels off the military spec, the wolf spec Land Rover, the heavy duty wheels that they also put on the uh, the 130 wheelbase, our, which is like your real defender perv. Our a architect has, um, has an, a military Does it? defender. An architect? Yeah, he's really? a really cool guy, yeah. 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 yeah, he smokes roll ups. Does he? And uh, he has a do at least one dog, yeah. Really? And, uh, yeah, he's got, and he uses Architects must be different in the country because if that was in London, none of those things would be true. You'd go, oh, he's got, he's got a Citroen DS or something. Yeah, no, he's, he he's, wears a lot of black. And he's, he's got a very elaborate watch of some kind. Do you know? I don't. Even, I think he might have a military watch as well. I bet he's he got can, a G-Shock. He might have a G-Shock. Military type people always have a G-Shock. And an ex-army satchel, a canvas satchel. Really? Yeah, he's he's brilliant though. Great architect. But when he first rocked up, I knew it. I knew he was the right man for the job because I said to Chops, my wife, "Look, it's got a, that." He said, that, "That's a kosher military Land Rover, that is." And I spoke to him, and he's like, "Yes, yeah, 24 volt." Really? Yeah, it's got it's got spades still strapped onto oh, the top. It's defender. Filth. It's got convoy lights. All of the shizzle. So here's a funny thing about owning a Defender. You do a wave. And I, oh. I don't like things like that normally. Yeah. But I've been suckered into it because I feel rude not doing it. Yeah. And the first time I was in this with my wife, and we were actually just going down the high street near where we live, and uh, and the Defender went the other way. And I did the little wave. I'm going to do a wave to this van just because he's letting me through. I'll if wait. that was a Defender, that would have been a... Actually, it wouldn't because what you do is you just do this. Two, is it two fingers? I don't three? know, it's like a gang thing. It just feels like that's what people do, I've noticed. Yeah, yeah. But I did it to someone just on our local high street, and my wife just went, What Why? did you just do? And I went, I just waved at her, and she went, Oh no. Like, it's just, it feels like, I think she just thought, it's it as if she it. discovered some robes in my wardrobe that meant I'd joined a cult. I wonder whether when the new Defender comes out, whenever that's going to be next year, yeah, yeah. whether they'll start joining in. Because you're right, I may feel a little aggrieved then and go, no, piss off. You're not like suffering minutes? mild yeah. discomfort as you drive along. Your no. ride isn't incredibly bouncy. Your engine's not that noisy. What are you playing at? You can't be in our club. Physical gear shift. Physical gear shift. Very, I, I, I remember Great I right. had one in because my wife, Said, oh, I think I want a Defender as an everyday car. They hadn't, they hadn't ended production at this point. This was before these were revealed. Yeah. And I and I said, you, you, it's, I said it's highly unlikely you're going to want one as an everyday car. She said, no, I think I really do. So you've seen where I live. Quite, um, 
a 90 degree right to turn onto the road. Yeah. I got a 110 station wagon in. Ooh, 110. Yeah. Fully loaded. Not, not a super manoeuvrable car, I'll grant you that. No. And uh, I got it in for a week and said, fill your boots, because you're love. driving it. Yes. She loved, on the third day, she said, don't think I can, don't think I can carry on. They're busy cars to drive, there's a lot of wheel work. A lot of, and she said, and she said, I'm pretty sure, you need to phone Land Rover, I'm, I'm quite sure that the gearbox is damaged. And I said, <laughs> no, no, I said, it's brand new, it's fine. She said, but it's so stiff, sometimes I, I feel like I need to use two hands. I like, uh, you think yeah. some are better than others, I was quite pleased with this, and it's loosened up a bit, so I think I've got a good one here. It's I think a, the last it's quite a slick cars. shift on this one, relatively speaking. I mean, you're not going to go, oh my god, it's a Mark 1 MX-5. But no, but do you feel like the last ones, they were made under such Oh, look at this. I just yeah. love driving through the English countryside on roads like this, sort of reasonably wide, but a bit bobbly sort of B roads, uh, in a Defender. I absolutely love it, because the car feels like it's in its element, short of going just turning now and going across that field. <laughs> just this is where this car shines, because you can sort of just hustle it along a little bit. Yeah. And there's something very cheery about it. I don't. I can't explain. On a sort of warm summer's day, it's just. Well, you do long journeys in this, don't you? Yeah, I do. I have done. I've driven to North Yorkshire in it. I uh, drove up to the northwest in it a couple of times. I just, yeah. I do use it quite a lot. That's the thing. I mean, everyday car. I will. You're hustling. I love to hustle. Go that way. Because, because do you know what I like about this car generally, and particularly hustling, but also actually just driving in town, which I do quite no, a lot. No, 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 not my way, not yet. Is he oh no, yes. Vox, is that a Vivaro? Vivaro? Yes. Yeah, what I like about the hustle of a Defender is uh, just driving it most of the time, really, is that you've got to think about it. Yeah. Because it is super manual. Yeah. There's nothing automated about this car at all. Yeah. These are your rain inputs. sensing wipers and your light sensing headlights and stuff, and you know, you've got to do all the steering all of the time. A lot of steering goes on. Whoa, you see so this is my. This steering. is exactly why I own the Dodge. Manuel gear change because it's very, very physical and it's a refreshing change from the other stuff you yeah. drive all the time. It's like I was going to say it's like a sort of palate cleansing sorbet if you drive a lot of other cars, but actually sorbet. it's like a sorbet that's got rocks in it because it's bloody hard work sometimes. Oh, but grit. I quite it's a enjoy. Sorbet has been dropped in the car park. And there's a bit <laughs> it's of grit got in grit it. and sometimes a bit of class. Yeah, it's not because the thing is, I don't think I'd enjoy eating a grit and glass sorbet, even if it was lemon, which is my favourite. I love, I do like a sorbet, but I, I really enjoy driving this. And the thing is, if I'm honest, it's crap. <laughs> I mean, by any reasonable and empirical measure, it's crap. It's heavy. It's slow. It's noisy. The ride is. Yeah. I mean. The ride is good in London because it doesn't feel like potholes and speed bumps are going to break it, and I really like that. Yeah. There are some roads I go down with in, in my other car, and I sort of go, oh, that is not good for the suspension. I never think that in this. Yeah. But... Have you had any recalls on it? Uh, no. See, I told you... I mean, they've been fun. making it for like 50-odd years. If they're still having to recall it, then they really have screwed up. That would be great, wouldn't I say it? that now, there'll be some unexplained engine fires or something, but... Uh, no, I don't think it's had any recalls. I oh, I'm going to... Oh, sorry, I'm getting I've, a bit hustly now. You're, you're absolutely I'm chucking absolutely this. hustling it. Good sighted oh, corner no. here and just... Oh. No, just all the seats are crested. I've only just noticed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, there are a number of touches about the Heritage Edition, sir, that, uh, that are rather delightful. The crested seats being one of them. And You'll the back notice, seats are crested uh, as well. Yes. On the backs. Yes, on the backs, absolutely, with a metal a metal plate. A little detail which the, the salesman I eventually dealt with to buy the car, who was a real Defender perv, told me, I haven't spotted. Oh. The steering wheel badge yeah. is the old Land Rover with the sort of Z through it. Z -z -z -z. Oh, yeah, yeah. Other nice. That's especially just for this car. And then oh. it started to repeat it down there. Yeah, yeah. These are normally stickers, but they're little are plates. Are aluminium or something? I think so, yeah. There's, there's I noticed stuff that on, on the, the tailgate as well. Yeah. Um, these little, you get a yellow band around the gear lever and a red band here. There's a little tribute to the original um, Series 1s that had that around the, the, the selector levers for the high and low and for the two and four wheel drive. So they're just a little tribute to that. I just thought they were loom bands. No, I've got those in my 
the LR Loom yeah, bags. LR loom bags. <laughs> yeah. And then um, yeah, you get little like fabric door pulls. I saw these. I like that a lot. Which, uh, are, are very nice with metal metal underneath. It's yeah, quite, that does feel quite charming. Um, what else? Oh yeah, and of course you, well, it, it's this it's this special colour. Yeah, now Grassmere I, Green. Is that what it is? I, 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 Grassmere. There's a place near here called Grassmere where uh, a town, a, a village. Sorry. Uh, The reasons that you own this, I, I completely understand. Because we live in a world well, it, where it depends what you think the reasons are. Well, you want something with you want a rough, you want a, 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 a diamond in the rough almost to kind yeah. of. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll yes, you're absolutely right. I'll be more specific. Don't you? <laughs> more for specific is that <laughs> I want a car that doesn't feel like any other car. Yeah. And essentially, that's normally a classic. Yeah, but this is, is like a classic that you could buy. I'm sure it's still in its warranty. Are you? Did you? Because I, I know you've owned older cars before. But did you buy this because it almost ticks the box off classic and brand new? Yeah. And it's a special reward car. Yeah. You don't use this every day. If you. No, use I do use it quite a lot because I just like it. Yeah. It amuses me. Yeah, really, there's lots of these around my way. I did the school run this morning and I in, I suddenly realised I did a quick scan of the car park, most of which was Disco 4s. Not yeah. many have gone for the Disco 5, it yeah. must be said. Yeah. And then other than that, huge amount of um, Audi Estates, Defenders, and then now BMW i3s. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. But, it doesn't matter what else you drive, I think, you always tip of the hat. Yeah. So many people who just tip the hat to the defender. Yeah. I get let out of junctions, I get I get smiles and waves from people who don't have other defenders, just you know, people sort of letting you out, giving yeah. you a wave, or or you give them a wave for letting you through and they sort of give you a cheery wave back. I don't know what it is, but certainly in, it's a character in my neck car. of the woods. Yeah. It's just it's a character car. It's, it's I'll tell you what, it's like it's a bit like my dog. It's like my dog in a number of ways because it's sort of technically crap, but I love it a lot. I was even say, though it's deeply flawed and sometimes quite annoying. Yeah. Yeah, but because you know my dog's big and shaggy and, and quite sweet, and, and this dog, yeah, and this 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 car is like the dog. It's sort of big and dopey and friendly and nice, and it makes people think I'm a better person than I am. Yeah, but flawed characters hold memories. Your this this will be this could potentially be a family heirloom. Yeah, it's one of the things I thought about. Is that that. I'll, I'll, I'd, I'd sort of imagine keeping it for a long time and then giving it to my boy. Yeah. And he'll go, why are you it's doing that, Dad? Yeah. <laughs> it's not self-driving, it's not electric. What are you uh, talking about? You might as well give me a mangle, you stupid old twat. <laughs> um, but I don't know, maybe, I think maybe... He, he loves are... it at the moment. Like he's four at the moment, but, he, you know, Daddy's truck is like... It's a truck, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. It's a big Tonka toy, isn't it? No, he, he likes it. And you climb in through the boot. Yeah. How many, how many cars do you climb in through the boot? I think he thinks all that's sort of normal. He's a bit baffled as to why more cars don't make you go in through the boot. Because now he can get in on his own because he's big enough to climb up the step and stuff. Which is quite sweet. But uh, I think he just thinks that this is a perfectly normal car. Whereas really it's not. It's a bit of an anachronism. Well, my kids don't question my Dodge being like badly painted <laughs> and sun scorched. They, to them it's just it's just Daddy's Dodge and it's a bit rusty but he likes it like that. Hear me out on this. I love Defenders. I love this car. Yeah. Even though I know that technically it's it's quite bad. Yeah. I don't like G-Wagons. Don't you? Yeah. Because I just, I, I can't see the goodness in the badness. I just think they're shit. Do you? Yeah. Do you not think the amalgamation of new tech within old cabin is interesting? No, because it just, to me, is like, you know, turd polish. Okay. At least with this, which, you know, on the one hand I think Land Rover were rather foolish not to do more to update these because they could have sold a lot more. Yeah, they could. But then I'm not sure they could have made a lot more because, you know, they still had to nail them together with uh, with hammers and pig iron and yeah. chisel. And, uh, but I just think at least this is reasonably honest. I mean, I know they redid the dash. This is the later dashboard. And they did that weird thing where, you know, they used to have the vents at the base of the screen. Yeah. They put this new dash in, it covered where the vents are, so they had to block them off. It's like sort of putting furniture in front of a door when you, yeah. you know, you've got one of those houses where you've knocked through. You've got two doors into the same room, and then you put you put a bookcase in front of one of them. And they, and they, and people, I know people like that, and that you go and knock on the front door, and you realise the front door hasn't it's been a, used yeah, in yeah. 10 years. It's exactly right. Like around the back. Uh, yeah, a stranger comes in and tries to go through the wrong door and knocks a bookcase over. That's right. And uh, it's a bit like that. Um, 
than that. Yeah, I just, I, I sort of, I know it's going to sound a bit wanky, but there's something more honest about the Defender because they did the bare minimum to update it. It's yeah. like, oh no, emissions rules. Well, we better go and slop some different engine in there if we can. How much is the budget? Ten quid. Do a new dashboard. Oh. I can't wait. To well, as long it. as it's got like instruments that are just straight out of the Range Rover Sport. These, one of the things actually, I haven't told you about this that I love about this car, because I, you know I'm a bit of a BL nerd. Yeah. And, and things that came from BL after that. Yeah. These electric window switches are from the facelifted uh, Montego originally. I think these were first in the um, in the facelifted in the in the Rover Metro from 1990. Were they? And then that is I, I was looking from at Rover that. I recognise that. Oh well, these are Marina stalks. Yeah. Basically, you buy a Defender and you get a British Leyland parts bin for free. <laughs> And that's one of the things I, I genuinely love about it because it's like a little walk down memory lane. Not that I've ever had a marina, but I've driven one and it was would shot. You, yeah, would you own a marina? No, they're awful. Yeah, they are awful. But uh, they have got these rather good stalks, which, you know, Land Rover just added some rubber gaskets Gators. to. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. yeah. they imagine the cabin is at some point going to fill up with water. I have to say, I've always felt that the centre console looks like... Um, uh, a college craft project. Yes. And someone's just Look at this. put in there. It's also it's got this sort of leather bit down here, but nothing else in here has got the yeah. <laughs> effect. Someone's on it. just made a plywood bin yeah. and gone oh. They went, oh it's my C D T project. Yeah. I want to make it look really fancy because it's for Father's Day. Yeah. Oh I've got I found a bit of leather in the storeroom. Am I gonna put that on there? Well it's it, it won't match anything else but that doesn't matter. <laughs> no exactly. That's what I mean there's something exactly. very make do amend about this car over to the point where if you look at the back, you know the back what looks like the back bumper is actually the end of the chassis. Yes. Well, if you look at, at mine, and you look at the gaps either side where the body meets the chassis, they're not even. So the body shell isn't sitting straight on the chassis. Because they never are, or because you have to. Because I know a lot of American cars nowadays, they'd have to shim out uh, yeah. the chassis to meet the body. And they're, yeah. all, they're sort of all wonderfully wonky. Yeah, that's what I like about and it. That's why people used to buy Aston Martins, because they were all wonky. Yeah, well, it's also, but at the same time, you know, like when I'm... I don't wash this very often, but I have washed it, and when I've washed it, I look at it and I go, I sort of know how this is put together. Yeah. I couldn't tell you how to make a modern monocoque, because it's incredibly complicated, and I wouldn't know where you'd need tailored blanks and laser welding and stuff. Yeah. With this, I just go, well, it's clear what they've done here. They've riveted that to that I can see uneven the spot all around your yeah, door. Yeah, yeah, look, that's not, that's, no. that's, look, that's not the same on either side. That's fine. And I sometimes look at this dashboard, and look, it's got these sort of Allen key things on it here. Yeah, it's and all I just go, bolts. Do you know what? I think I could dismantle this car. Yeah. I couldn't put it back together again, but I'm pretty sure if I needed to, I could take it apart. And I don't know why I find that quite amusing, but I do. Um, FJ Cruiser. No, but that's pretending to be like that. Oh, what do you mean the original FJ, not an no, FJ? No, I mean the modern one, which which has exposed bolts. And yeah, but the I dash. think they're faux, aren't they? I guarantee if I took that out, something would fall off. Yeah, it would, almost certainly. I mean, I probably wouldn't even need to take it out for something to fall off. I'm sure <laughs> something will fall off at some point. What's the... Is this the, the Pioneer fate head unit, removable head unit? I don't think I've yeah, seen I had one that since put 2001. In. So, here's a quirk of the Heritage Edition Defender. Uh, that it, uh, it had a rather weird equipment list and there were no options. You couldn't do anything. So, it came with the winter pack which is heated seats and a heated screen. Very useful. Yeah, very useful. But the things it didn't come with include carpets, which a lot of Defenders, you could have it. Yeah. And a stereo. So you just couldn't have no a counter. Yeah, just, I just had that put in, which is fine, because I'd rather do it, and I had one that's got DAB. Yeah. And Bluetooth. But it actually works pretty well. I noticed you got USB there, look. Got a USB there, I've got to do that, yeah. No, all mod cons, sir. That's just weird, though. I know, the spec was on crack. Oh, and no air conditioning, which is fine. I don't really care about that. Um, but, no. But uh, no air conditioning. Do well, if you but if you were in Australia and you ordered one of these, you've got air conditioning as standard. They just... I don't know whether they were just trying to use up bits or what, but it's a very odd spec. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. but I, I don't care. Yeah. You're buying it for spec. You're buying it for chuffing along like this. It's, it's the true, end. and well, we are in the 70th year of Land Rover as we're constantly oh, yeah. reminded, aren't we? Yeah. So this is, when did they, this is 2015? Yes, Is well, that when it was? Bless them. The first 2016. Bless them all, because there's even a factual mistake on the badge. What? Well, so, so they went, right, we're going to stop making the Defender in 2015. This was made in December 2015. But after they'd cleared all the, most of the specials, they kept on making the, um, 
the normal one into January 2016. That's right. So the badge says 2015. 1948 to 2015. And then they went, actually, we're going to keep making them. So it's, you, you get each of each one of these comes. It's on the grill as well with a factually wrong badge. That's amazing. It's just perfect. That is amazing. That's just, that's just why you have a Land Rover. See how far this do you, screw goes. Do other Defender owners know what you have? Do uh, they, do they know yes, special? yes, a lot of them do. Unlike uh, the Land Rover service place I took it to recently, who had no idea because they kept going, Oh, it's a great colour, that mate. What is it? Is it? Have you had that done? I was like, No, it's one of the last ones they made. But again, it's in London, so they're just used to fixing Range Rovers. I don't see a lot of Defenders. Why don't you have it serviced like up my way? Well, because then what do I do? Well, you hang around my house, I'll give you some watches. Oh, all right, I'll do that next time. 